To get into a little more detail in some of the outfits, first up we have Pentatonix, the acapella group. I basically created the whole outfit based off of this rainbow sweater that I made out of a sock. I actually have a video on that if you want to go check it out, I guess. <laughs> and then I paired it with some white detail since the background of the album is white. I also apologize for the background music. If it sounds kind of weird, I'm trying not to get copyrighted. <laughs> Next up we have Sticker by the K-pop group NCT127. I tried making her do the dance move. It's very hard when dolls don't have joints. But she's wearing mainly green accents to match the album. She has this hat on from Force of the Elves on Etsy and this vest that my sister crocheted. She's wearing a black turtleneck because I thought it kind of matched the outfits that they were wearing on the album cover. And I just paired it with a skirt and some platform Mary Jane. And then next we have Emails I Can't Send by Sabrina Carpenter. I tried to copy this outfit that I saw on Pinterest, which was just layering this tank top on top of a button-down shirt. So I tried to have the colors tie into the album. So we have the green from the curtains in her tank top, and then the pink in her jacket also matches the heart of the album that I have because I have the signed version. So yeah, that was Emails I Can't Send by Sabrina Carpenter. Next up, we have Thank You Next by Ariana Grande. I wanted this outfit to match a lot of the colors of the album with the pink and the gray. So she has this pink cardigan on and I have this like white tank top that I put underneath that I made. She also has this velvety pink headband that matches pretty well and some heart shoes. I also feel like with the style of the outfit, it's definitely something that Ariana Grande would wear. Next we have Feel My Rhythm by Red Velvet. I actually did a photo of this a couple months ago and so it's almost the same outfit. It's based off of one of the outfits that the members wear. And these outfits are just so pretty. I really love this whole concept. She's wearing this white button down with a pink tank top that I made on top of it. And then I layered three skirts so that it has more volume. And then I also put some pearls across her skirt. Next up, we have Billie Eilish's Happier Than Ever. I tried to get her to copy this pose that she's doing, but the doll's arms don't cross. I pulled the sweater off to one shoulder because that's kind of how it looks like in the album and basically just matched it with brown shorts. There's nothing that much to this outfit. Next up we have Disharmony Find Out by P1 Harmony. I wanted to base this off of one of the versions of the album which had a purple cover on it and it also had hints of green throughout the comeback so I thought that this sweater that my sister crocheted worked well with it. There's also a lot of like shiny metallic designs so I thought that the metallic sunglasses as well as the shiny shirt went with it pretty well. I also tried to get her to do the dance and it looks kind of funny. <laughs> Next up, we have Neozone by NCT127 again. Um, I'm sorry, they're my favorite group, so I did them multiple times. I also tried to get her to do this dance, but once again, it's like impossible with American Girl dolls. I tried to base this off of the outfits that they're wearing in the photo, as well as just the color scheme. 
So she has some plaid on, which a lot of the members are wearing. I wanted to make sure there was a hint of yellow since the main color of the album is yellow. She has these fingerless gloves that were from our generation. I thought they just made the outfit look cooler. I also used a necklace that I have to make like a chain belt. And a lot of the members are also wearing some checkered designs, so I wanted to bring that in with her checkered shoes. Next up, we have another K-pop group. This album is Chase by The Boys. I basically dressed him in one of the outfits that Jacob, one of the members of The Boys, was wearing. I just think it's so funny. I used a belt and a piece of string to kind of copy the harness thing that he was wearing. And I also cut out a little blood splatter to copy the design on his shirt. I also happen to have The Boys mini light stick, so I had to put that in there. But yeah, I'm actually really happy with how this one turned out. It looks pretty accurate. And then next up, of course, I had to use Julie for this because everyone was pointing out how Harry Styles' outfit looked just like Julie Albright's. So she's basically just wearing her meat outfit, although I used different pants because they looked more accurate. And I put a Peter Pan collared shirt underneath since that's the kind of shirt that Harry has on. Next we have Lemonade by Beyonce. This outfit is not that good, I admit it. I wanted to try and copy the fur jacket that she had on. And also this outfit that she was wearing with the gray pants and the gray shoes and the gray top. I kind of mixed together these looks. And then I tried to also bring in the blue of the album with the shoes. You know, I'm really sorry, Beyonce. This could have been so much better. <laughs> Next up, we have Blue Neighborhood by Troy Sivan. I really like this outfit, even though it's pretty simple. There's so many shades of blue in the album, so we have two shades of kind of teal or blue in the shirt and the skirt. And then there's also pink in the clouds, so I felt like the shoes matched with the album. Yeah, that's it for this outfit. Next up, we have Limasawa Street by Ben & Ben. They're a Filipino group, and I really like them. You should go check them out if you haven't heard their music yet. But I wanted to take in the colors of the album, which was mainly blue and yellow. So I had this blue shiny skirt that I think actually matches really well. I have this yellow shirt that I made, and then I also put one of my necklaces as a chain to kind of add a little more to the outfit because I felt like it was a little boring. And this group always plays guitar, so I also thought that Sage should be playing guitar as well. And the last album is another NCT album, surprise surprise. This one is NCT Dream's Hello Future. They used a lot of tie-dye in their outfits, so I knew that she had to wear this tie-dye shirt. I wanted to make the more outfit interesting, so I layered it on top of this white Julie dress, and then put this white vest on top. I also wanted to match the Hello Future title with this teal bandana, but I realized now that she kind of just looks Amish. I think she still looks cute. And those are all the outfits that I have for matching different albums. Let me know which one was your favorite. And let me know what your favorite album is down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye!